have you historically wanted to be able to pay attention to your logos, your colors, and maybe even the theme that you're using in HubSpot? And sometimes it feels like it's separated and you're like, ah, where's everything live? Well, that changes after you watch this video. Hey, you know what time it is. That's right. It's your boy, George B. Thomas from georgebthomas.com. And today we're talking about the HubSpot My Brand Kit. And in the My Brand Kit, we're going to talk about logos. That's right. Not logo, but logos. We're going to talk about favicons. We're going to talk about your brand colors and how they can come along for the ride everywhere you go in HubSpot. And even the theme that you might be using for landing pages and website pages. Now, if you have questions, questions along the way, make sure you hit the comments or reach out to me on socials. Or of course, you can head over to georgebthomas.com and hit that contact us or the free HubSpot help page. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. All right. One of the things that I really love about HubSpot is the idea of keeping your brand in line. If you come into your settings gear right here on the right hand side of HubSpot, one of the things you can do is go to your account default on the left hand side. Under account defaults, you'll see that we have a branding tab and under this branding tab is the Mecca, the love. Okay, it's called my brand kit. When you click into my brand kit, it's gonna get you some interesting things, but notice over here, we do have an actions button that we can delete this. We can't delete the default brand kit, but we're gonna go into my brand kit here. And what you're gonna see immediately is we have the ability to put logos and I I say logos because you can do multiple. For instance, here we have the main logo for George B. Thomas. We have the logo alt text, which is George B. Thomas. I could put HubSpot helper or something else in this alt text if I wanted to. And then you're going to have the URL that you want this logo to go to. Notice if we open this up, we could have another logo where we could just close this out. We could browse the images. We could search for logo in here and we could say maybe we want to use this logo which by the way is an all white logo so it's really hard to see but notice that's the white icon logo but maybe on a dark page we want to be able to use that one so we have that logo there. And then the favicon, the favicon is what shows up in the tab of your browser kind of like HubSpot's shows up here on the settings tab. And of course this is white so it's relatively difficult to see but we can have our logos and our favicons set right here to be able to use and notice that your logo and colors for tools where you can show your branding these settings will help you quickly choose brand options when creating public facing content thanks hubspot so speaking of colors if we go into colors here you can see this is where you can add your brand colors what's nice about this is it comes along for the ride when you're creating your emails or your landing pages or your website pages because anywhere that you have the HubSpot WYSIWYG editor, you're going to see that you can click on colors and you're going to have these favorite or brand colors. It's really easy to add a color. Simply hit add and then you can change the hex code to whatever you want. To delete a color, you can literally hover over the trash can and delete it. And you can even import colors from a URL if you so choose. So if you already have your website, and your colors are on your website, which they should, you can import them from that URL. One last thing here that we can do is we can click on themes and this will actually show the active theme that you have. And this is where you can go in and change the theme or edit the theme. By the way, if you're curious about what theme I use, which by the way, if you're paying attention, you saw it and why I use it, reach out, ask questions. I'll give you answers because there is a theme that I love to use and use for the georgebthomas.com website. But, but enough of that. Let's get back into the tutorial. Now, what's interesting is most folks, when they're actually going to edit their theme settings, they will come in and go marketing, website, website pages, and then maybe actually go into a page and then go into the themes to edit the theme settings. Man, is that a lot of clicking when you could just go into your settings, you could go into your branding and you could say, hey, I want to edit my theme settings and get you right into your theme settings with ease. So using the My Brand 
design kit for your logo colors and themes well it's that simple it's that easy if you have not set up your my brand kit in hubspot yet make sure you go over and set up your colors set up your logo set up your favicon and pick a theme that you want to use moving forward so that you can easily communicate and visually show all the things that you need to show through email through landing pages through website pages and even other places inside of hubspot until next time make sure you're focused on getting one percent better each and every day make sure you're trying to be a happy helpful humble human and of course we'll see you in the next video